Hi guys, this is week 9 Project Life and I'm digging back into my stash again for this week's layout. I've started with my photos and I've pulled out a few of the things from the Amy Tangerine Slice of Life collection. Um, I've had a few of these bits and pieces for quite a while now. I used some of it when um, it first arrived and then it got put into my stash and I kind of haven't looked at it since. So today is the day to pull it back out and use some of these pretty pretty things. Now I had the, um, I think it's called the stationery pack, um, and I pulled out a couple of bits and pieces from there, but I'm actually going to end up replacing those with some of the pattern papers anyway. Uh, I've got a 6x8 pattern paper pad. Um, I always get the 6x8 pads, perfect for Travels Notebooks, but also for Project Life. Um, I love the smaller size of the patterns in here. It makes it much more appropriate to trim down to 4x6s, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just going through the... Um, through the patterns and kind of picking out some that are, I want to use the term neutral, uh, which isn't entirely correct. It's just I'm trying to pick some of the smaller patterns. So I started with a black and white kind of, it's not really a check, kind of a striped pattern down the bottom and I'm looking for something uh, for my title card. Uh, I really love this rainbow paper. It doesn't technically go <laughs> with really anything else on my page, um, but I think because I've got that photo of the really bright uh, sunrise there, it kind of picks up some of those tones in the rainbow. So I'm going with it because I love a rainbow, as you all know, and it's, you know, use it or lose it as far as these sorts of collections go. So I'm going to use the rainbow for my title card, and then I'm picking out just a, a more sort of subtle yellow pattern for one of the 3 by 4 spots and I've got one left in here and there was a pattern I saw in here that was kind of a blue kind of looks like it's got confetti on it which I quite liked to go next to my ice cream photo just it's not really sprinkles but it's sprinkly looking enough that it makes sense to go next to my ice cream what I will end up doing though is once I've trimmed these down, I kind of like the blue uh, on the right hand side rather than the left. So I've just swapped those around just to help balance out some of the colors and the weight of the layout. The only thing that I'm not super sure about is the black and white pattern down the bottom. It just feels not sort of colorful enough. I want to add a little bit of color down here. So I'm gonna choose this darker blue paper uh, just to tie in the dark blue from the title card uh, a little bit more. The other colors in that rainbow pattern at the top are sort of echoed through the other papers and the photos that I've picked. Uh, the only one that's really not on there is that navy blue color. So that's why I've picked out that darker blue just to frame my photo uh, and add a bit more color down to the bottom here. And I did end up going back into that stationery pack and pulling out a tag from one of the sort of pocket cards in that pack. I'm just going to use the tag as is uh, just because that is quite a solid pattern down there and I figured it was going to be hard to uh, stamp anything onto um, and I have a bit of a space there so I'm just filling that up with a little tag and yes I'm fully aware now that I've glued my photo upside down. <laughs> So I do end up fixing that, um, luckily it's just one of those things, it was kind of a, it was sitting upside down and I just glued it on the way it was. So uh, I did notice in time like the glue hasn't like fully stuck down so it was reasonably easy to pull that back up and flip that around the right way. And what I did was go through my stash of older stamps because I have so many stamps coming in all the time um, I don't often end up going back and using some of my favorite ones so that's what I did I went through my stash of Kelly stamps stamps picked out some of my favorite sets that I know are gonna work with just about all of these photos uh, and I'm gonna use those to help myself out with the stamping though I did pull out um, a cut apart sheet of labels from this month's citrus twist kit 
it's always handy. I love these colored labels and it makes working on a spread like this super easy. I'm just going to trim out a label and stick it down and then stamp a sentiment on top of it. I don't have to worry about stamping on top of photos or whether a photo was too busy for stamps or anything like that. Plus them being colored and they, the colors actually toned in really nicely with this collection. It just adds more little pops of color to these three by four photos. So I'm doing the same thing uh, on both of these cards using a colored label and then stamping a sentiment onto it. This sentiment was a really long one so I am partially inking it so that I can stamp two different lines of the sentiment um, and I didn't quite get it uh, sort of centered on the label but I'm totally okay with that too. I will try and link whatever I can down below in the description box but like I said these stamp sets um, are all pretty old from Kelly Stamps and I'm gonna say I'm, I'm reasonably sure that they are sold out um, so I'll link whatever I can I know that there are still digital versions available so I'll link those if there are no clear stamp options I had to take Lily to the vet again for this week, so it's a rough life. Seemed like a pretty, pretty accurate sentiment for her photo, and there was enough space up there to stamp onto the photo directly. And again, you can see the little stamp that I did onto that tag that I used down the bottom, and then back up again to the top, I'm gonna stamp directly onto my sunrise photo as well. Uh, it says summer looks like this, and, um, I wish it was. It's sort of it's summer is ending like this. It's definitely we're definitely moving on to some slightly cooler weather here. So um, taking advantage of the sunrises while I can. This is just another working at my desk photo. Um, the there are a lot of these like I've said again and again we've got a pretty regular life here there's not a lot changes from week to week so sometimes the the realness of life is just the same thing again and again and again and I'm totally okay with having that in a project life album um, that is just the reality of our actual lives now I didn't have like a ton of embellishments from this collection, I did have the puffy stickers though so I decided to add those. I've added a little yay to my ice cream photo and then a little paw print to the rough life stamp sentiment. Um, and I added a coffee cup down the bottom to my coffee photo and I figured I might as well keep going So I'm adding a little pie to our dinner photo and I've added a book to my reading photo You're getting the gist here, right? Um, I figured I've done most of the photos. I might as well carry on and do all of them um, I'm not really going with my sort of recipe theory or my visual triangle or anything this week so I decided I might as well just apply the same sort of sticker thing to each photo. I've added a little camera down the bottom and a flower to the top and I'm trying to decide whether to add one more sticker down the bottom but it made no sense because all of the cards had one sticker on them so I'm just going to move on to my title card. I uh, decided for the label, I'm going to use a label for my title card just because I haven't really got any other uh, like design element this week. I really kind of want to leave the rainbow paper just to be a really strong visual element on its own. So I'm going to use the black label, um, which I knew I would struggle with because this is one of those weeks that has two months in it. Uh, and it was a very very small label so I was super super careful with my stamping I did manage to fit it all in it is a really tight squeeze um, there is a tiny little gap in the middle that I can draw my little heart on and then it was just a case of working out where on this card I want to put it normally I would put everything towards the sort of bit bottom left hand side but I kind of want to do something a little bit different this week so I'm putting up the top right and then I am going to use the alphas from the Slice of Life collection. Um, they're really pretty. I loved these alphas. I love that there are two different versions in there. And I'm going to use sort of glittery ones rather than just the plain black ones. Again, just for something a little bit different. But also because I have not used the glitter ones yet. I specifically bought this collection because of these glitter alphas. And then never used them. So today is the day, biting the bullet, using the stuff that I have. 
not trying to keep it for anything special. This week nine is special enough. And that's pretty much it. That's the layout all done. I'm not adding any journaling or anything. I've just kept it really simple, really colorful and dove back into some old stamps and I love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.